Good evening, everybody. Stocks extending the market's biggest weekly advance since July, sending the Dow to its highest close in a year. Now, for the week, let's take a look at those numbers. Dow Jones up nearly 4%. The S&P 500 up nearly 60% since March. You know, the S&P has climbed for the past four days in the longest streak of gains in a month. We also saw gains on the NASDAQ as well for the week. Now, more stocks are trading at 52-week highs than at any other time since June 2007, and that's a sign to some investors that the steepest rally in 70 years may be sustained here. So one big catalyst Friday, analyst recommendations. Those analyst calls sparking gains in technology as well as commodity shares. In fact, we saw IBM rise the most in almost three months, reaching a new 52-week high. The stock spiked after Barclays Capital raised its share price estimate for the world's biggest computer services provider to $140. Barclays saying hardware sales may rise. And Barclays also coming out today saying firmer corporate spending should support sales at Intel, which led a group of chip companies higher on that note. And Google, meantime, climbing as Credit Suisse lifted its price estimate and paid the search business and said the search business will benefit from a rebound in advertising. Now, speaking of Google, YouTube CEO Chad Hurley coming out saying on the YouTube blog that the site serves over a billion views a day. The site still hasn't made money for Google, but uh, we'll surely hear more about that next Thursday when Google reports third quarter earnings. Now, you can't tell already, information technology definitely leading us higher among the 10 industry groups in the S&P. Healthcare and financials rounding out the top three strongest groups. Telecom, though, lower again for a third day straight. Metro PCS Communications and Leap Wireless International fell after AT&T introduced a prepaid plan targeted at a market that's dominated by the two pay-as-you-go wireless carriers. All this according to Pali Research. So, Pam, that's a quick look at uh, where we wrapped up the day. Back over to you.